la almohada de cerveza para tomar. Beer pillow. Cheers. Woo. My name is Phil from Beer Goals, and my beer goal is to do a cheers with everybody around the country and around the world. So what you're going to do is take out a piece of paper, write cheers, hashtag beer goals, and tell us where you're from, and then post the picture of you drinking your beer, where you're from, in the comments section of this post. Uh, right now I'm drinking a delicious Angel City Brewery IPA right here in California. Uh, so I want to see where you're drinking. Let's see if we can get lots of people from all over the country represented and all over the world. I was inspired recently when we had a beer goal to create a beer pillow. And it was amazing to see beer lovers from many different countries share and toast our beer concoction. Su creador responde al nombre de Phil, Mexico. quien dedica su canal de YouTube Beer Goals, que en español sería como Metas de la Cerveza, a compartir experiencias y reseñas en torno al mundo de la cerveza. Chinese television shows such as this one. And this one. To the world capital of beer, Germany, as well as the United Kingdom, and of course to beer drinkers across America from beer to shining beer. And now that we can't go to bars, pubs, and breweries like we used to, let's beer the world together and find new ways to enjoy beer by employing social distance drinking. Leading up to the second annual World's Largest Virtual Beer Toast on National Beer Day, April 7, post and comment with a cheers and a picture of your favorite local beer with the hashtag Beer Goals. Represent your hometown and your hometown beer. The largest virtual beer toast in the, in the, in the world right now. So everybody raise their beer glasses. <laughs> Lots of people from all over the country represented and all over the world. Cheers from Beer Goals! Hey everybody and uh, welcome to Drinking Buddies. I'm Phil from Beer Goals and my beer goal today is to have a beer with my buddies and uh, i'm going to bring in a couple folks with us that are going to do a cheers and if you're watching this at home uh post in the comments with your beer and uh cheers hashtag beer goals all right we've got a couple new faces uh, let me see we're gonna bring you guys in hey, hey cheers hey. we've got Jamie How's from going? three guys six beers good uh, How are you we've got good good and we've got uh, Justin, the godfather of National Beer Day. Cheers. All right. And Cheers. we've got Luke from uh, Tailgating Challenge. See there? there we go. All What's right. up, guys? All right. Am I missing anybody? Is that everybody that's here right now? All right. Um, let's, uh, thanks, guys, for coming to Drinking Buddies. Uh, like I said, we're all in different places. Right now is a tough time. Uh, we'd rather be out there at the breweries, at the bars, drinking beer in person. But you know what? Social distance drinking. We are uh, not to brag. We hear beer goals. We've actually been doing social distance drinking for a long time. Uh, we're gearing up for Tuesday is the second annual world's largest virtual beer toast we did the first one a year ago but guess what the world has changed everybody is drinking at home on their computer now uh so thanks guys for being here um so yeah i'm just gonna go around everybody introduce themselves show us what they're drinking uh i'm gonna kick things off i brought a uh a hop cloud uh hazy ipa from the good coke that mike has brewing out of uh, san diego california i'm gonna open that up and while i do i want we start with um Jamie from was it three three guys six beers two two guys in a beer what is it? <laughs> well, you know it is three guys six beers dot com. So I'm awesome. Jamie and I'm uh, exactly one third of the three guys. Um, my partners are uh, TJ and Joe. So we're we're friends. We've known each other for a while, and we had this crazy idea. Let's start reviewing beers. It was 
after, and I have to give a shameless plug, after we uh, all served on the committee, actually we made up about half the committee for a beer fest here in uh, North Canton, Ohio. And we have the number, another one coming up. It did get moved. It will be in November. So hopefully uh, if you're in Ohio, you oh, can awesome. check that out. But, uh, but yeah, you can follow us here on Facebook. Check out Three Guys Six Beers uh, and also on our website, threeguyssixbeers.com. And uh, being that I am from Ohio, uh, I have not had this one before. I do like coffee stouts, so I had to go with an Ohio beer. So we have Wired Coffee Stout from, if I can get it in the camera here, from North High Brewing Company out of Columbus, Ohio. So I'll awesome. state cheers. cheers for and, uh, Ohio beers. All right. All right. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> cheers for Ohio beers. And then um, I'll see, uh, uh, Luke, you actually recently moved. Luke from Tailgating Challenge. Always posting some awesome stuff. I love all your uh, your great, great uh, things you've been, uh, great uh, gizmos and gidgets and stuff you've been posting. You had like a really cool can opener the other day. But what do you have today? What are you drinking? Uh, I just stopped at a local brewery now that we're uh, residents of Colorado, uh, Mash Lab here in Windsor. Colorado. Awesome. And it is a uh, rise and shine double New England IPA. So again, with you, Phil, drinking those hazies. Yeah, cheers, this is one's delicious. Cheers, cheers to hazy IPAs. This one's pretty delicious. Got some good uh some good citrus on it. Um, I'm digging this one right here. Good Southern California beer. So uh Justin, this is I'm very honored to have with us. So, like I said, we are gearing up for Tuesday is National Beer Day. We have with us uh Justin, who is known as the Godfather of National Beer Day. Uh, introduce yourself, what you're drinking. Tell us a little bit about National Beer Day. So, uh, Justin Smith, Richmond, Virginia. Today I'm having a uh, Lagunitas Super Cluster. Uh, I'm normally drinking some local RVA beers, but uh, I don't know, saw this one intrigued me, so I picked it up while I was uh, out doing one of my- Nice, that's great. Lagunitas and, is great, and, yeah. Uh, the quarantine. Um, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm the, the guy who started National Beer Day. Uh, started it back in 2009. I've uh, been recognized on the congressional record. Uh, House Joint Resolution 90 officially recognized it in the state of Virginia last year. I'm actually working with some federal legislators to have it recognized federally. Uh, you've been kind of pushed That's to the awesome. back burner right now with all the COVID stuff going on, but hopefully we'll yeah. have it worked out. And, uh, you know, it might not be a bank holiday where we can spend the day drinking at home, but uh, it is something that is very uh, important historically it allows us to drink beer again for the first time in 13 years back in 1933 and that's something we're celebrating so it was actually based on the day that was it the prohibition ended the day that was the actual day was april 7th prohibition officially ended on december 5th 1933 when the uh, 21st amendment was ratified but on uh, april 7th the colin harrison act went into effect and what that did is it redefined oh, okay. it beverage under the Volstead Act and allowed people to buy, sell, and drink beer for the first time in 13 years, as long as under 3.2% uh, alcohol. So um, it's a oh, day that, that, wow. that got our first taste of beer. It's a very beer-specific holiday. Wine and liquor not really celebrated on that date because you yeah, yeah. them to that, that uh, low of an ABV. So it's a very beer-specific holiday. Awesome. Well, cheers. Congrats. The 10th anniversary. It's the second annual beer toast and the 10th anniversary of National Beer Day itself. So we have a lot to celebrate. Even though we can't go out to the breweries, we still have a lot to celebrate with each other. That's awesome. That is great. Um, yeah, so we can't wait for National Beer Day this Tuesday, April 7th. Uh, you know, we're going to hashtag beer the world together. So everybody watching, post what you're going to drink, post what you're drinking now. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, hopefully getting a lot of people out there, um, you know, celebrating National Beer Day. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you saw, so speaking of everything that's happening, I know where, where you guys are, what, what the breweries are doing. A lot. Uh, I was talking with the Colorado Beer Hunter earlier this week, and we were talking about how what's kind of exciting is, you know, even despite this for, you know, sad reasons is like sort of the, the liquor uh, laws are changing so that you can actually get beer delivered. Like you can get like Uber Eats, you can get your DoorDash mm -hmm. and they're like, Hey, do you want a beer with your burger? And uh, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that was like a thing before Like you just get like beer to go like they're doing now. So that's about a lot of uh, here in LA, a lot of um, places have been like, Hey, do you want a beer with that? I'm like, yes, I do. So cheers <laughs> to beer delivery. Absolutely. Yeah. So I was going to say, I have, um, I have some, uh, some interesting news stories I was going to put up maybe, uh, discuss with you guys. 
Uh, let's see if I can find them here. Oops. Uh, well, one, I'll just like let you guys know. I'll, I'll read to you. So what's actually, there's kind of been some craft brewers and some some big beer have been getting involved, <laughs> kind of making things better. And this is actually uh, out there by you now, Luke. Uh, the Co Colorado Brewery uh, is giving 4,000 cases of free beer to frontline workers. Uh, it's Avery, Avery Brewing. They make some great beer. Uh, so if you're a frontline worker, they're saying announcement posted by Avery Brewing says that the Boulder uh, County frontline workers, including healthcare, police, fire, EMS, delivery drivers, and grocery store workers uh, can get a case of beer for free. All you have to do is sign up and show that you're a, a frontline, one of, one of those frontline workers, uh, and you get a you get a case of beer. So I think that's awesome. Let's ch cheers to... Uh, the frontline workers out there, absolutely getting a free case of beer from Avery Brewing. I think we could all do. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think that's a good idea? Because like that, not to be negative, but it's like cool. So they're out there, they're working hard, and then they're gonna get a free case of beer. They're gonna show up the next day, like woo. And that's what I would do. But I'm sure these people are <laughs> consummate professionals, no doubt. Yeah, no, I'm thinking of myself. That's what I. That's why I'm here, oh, locked yeah. doors, drinking a beer on the internet. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys seen anything like that out there, like have you guys been getting any beer to go? Have you been get, getting any beer? For like oh, yeah, to I mean, we've been getting yeah. beer to go like as much as we can because the big thing for me is that you know, I know like with a lot of local brewers, I mean, there's some big brewers out there, right, that are going to make it through this, but there's some local breweries yeah. that are going through yeah. struggle. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to yeah, go in there important. as much as possible and just buy local, buy from the smaller brewers, um, A, to experience it, you know, just moved here. So it's, it's awesome to try it all. I wish I could stay there and like talk to them and all that and hang out. But, um, you know, yeah. just supporting and, you know, tipping big and just, you know, supporting through this because, you know, we want them to be there when we get through. We will get through all this. But we want them to be That's there right. when we get through all this so we can keep yep. having awesome craft brews together. Exactly. Well, that's the thing that I've been kind of thinking about is like, I, I feel like we're at this like pinnacle of society with, with like food and beer and pop culture. And like, I'm kind of just selfishly nervous. Like, where's this, all these, all these great things that we love aren't going to be there in like a, in a year. So I'm like, please, yes, go out and take out beer, mm -hmm. uh, bring it home. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll find, you know, don't feel like you have to drink alone. Come drink with us. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers to that. For sure. Yeah, definitely. In Richmond, we've got a few of our local breweries that will actually deliver it to you. You give them a call. Oh, awesome. Oh, do you know, do you know, you know which one? Give them a shout out. Do you, do you remember which ones they are? Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, look those up. That's amazing. Um, well, that's actually, Big Beer's been getting involved too. Uh, so, Anheuser, I don't know if you guys saw this last week, Anheuser Busch announced that uh they're gonna start making hand sanitizer alongside their beer mm -hmm. <laughs> in, the, in the plant yeah so i guess no no water jokes that's pretty cool so no water jokes today we'll uh yeah. we'll wash our hands with blood tomorrow how about that <laughs> so will the sanitizer have a hop smell is my question oh there you go yeah you're like everybody's gonna be everybody's gonna be going to the grocery store like like we're oh my god, dude! Is there like a brewery open? Everyone's gonna get really excited. Is there, there's got to be like a brewery open, and then some people are just gonna be like, "No, I just used the the Budweiser hand sanitizer." <laughs> Maybe that'll catch on. They'll catch on like beer perfume, beer hand sanitizer. Be like, that's the next new product. There's a lot of beer soap out there for sure already. Had, yeah, uh, right. Sanitizer. I think I, I sold a little on me. I think I already got the beer perfume. <laughs> <laughs> or sanitizer. Your your call. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be something to look forward to. Beer yeah. hand sanitizer. Uh, oh, and this is a cool story. I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, so Bush Beer is, uh, there's another one. They're giving away free beer. So Bush Beer is giving free beer to people who rescue shelter dogs during the, uh, during the coronavirus outbreak. So <laughs> if you uh, oh. go to, the, yeah, if you actually go and get a dog, here's a tweet. Uh, everyone can use a companion on the couch right now. So if you foster or adopt a dog from Midwest Animal Rescue, you can use three months worth of bush to enjoy the ride. So I don't hmm. know. I think the country's covered enough. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's good. Yeah. You're a good cause. Uh, no, so cheers. Team figure can do good sometimes. So cheers to that. Bush beer. If you want a dog, you get three, I'll, I'll go three months of beer. I don't know. For bush, though, those are like what? That's like 4% beer, right? So how many I how many so. how many bush beers did you guys drink? Right, that's like that's like table water. That's like you know, that's any more like, that's pretty much like table water. Yes. 
that was back I, I in the was day drinking that. when I first started. Uh, you know, tailgating and everything was push, push light all the time. But uh, yeah. you know, like three months is, I don't know. I feel like that could be a high <laughs> number if you drank heavily. Yeah, I was just going to throw in there. I can remember back in my college years, my buddy used to drink Coors Light, which anymore, I mean, my gosh. How many Coors Light does it take to equal one of these beers tonight, you know? so Exactly, exactly. I think I'm drinking yep. a uh, – it's this guy here, this uh, Mike Hess Hop Cloud, is like a 7%. So that's like two bushes almost right there, maybe one, one yeah. and a half bushes. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, hey, free beers, free beer. You know, people always like, oh, man, I don't drink that. You know, I don't drink those big beers. And then it's like, it's free's free. You know what I mean? So, all right, get it done. Mm-hmm. I dig it. Cheers to that. Cheers to Bush. Beer. Absolutely. Hmm. So, look, you mentioned tailgating. So your whole thing is like these amazing tailgate setups you have. What yeah. that, do you have anything planned now that you guys can't go out and do tailgating in person? Do you have any like vir- we can do the virtual tailgating? We can, you know, like uh, yeah. Uh, how's that affected? Because like the sports, right? Like everything's closed for the foreseeable future. So there's no baseball, no basketball. Yeah. Uh, so f- fingers crossed, right? That we're gonna have yeah. football this year. I mean, I hope. I think everybody's hoping for that. Um, but you know, yeah, our national tailgating day is like, I don't know what that's going to look like this year. Um, wow. you know, luckily mm. I found a national home gating day too, which could be way more relevant this year, uh, yeah. with home gating and hanging out in the house yep. and having, having a beer, maybe a virtual home gate and you're hanging out with people in different yeah. homes. I don't know. Right. Let's do it. You're here first. Let's do it. Let's have the yeah. virtual tailgating across the country. Everybody is. I guess what would you be? Yeah, we could all go to our garages and tailgate in the back of our cars six feet apart. And we can't yeah. get because we'll have to out. You know, we're all in our own driveway. Yeah. <laughs> or in a big parking lot and everybody like spread out and just kind of yell to each other about uh, how they're doing. And how there you go. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we are, you know, come <laughs> the first weekend of se- September. Yeah. Cheers. Well, let's take a look at the comments here. Oh, we got uh, Jonathan Freeman. Cheers, buddy. All right. <laughs> from santa monica um let's see who else do we have here oh cheers to uh the beer seller page love you guys and uh chris kurzer cheers where are you drinking from cockpit brewing here in orlando florida all right here's the florida beers all right so um yeah so that's that's awesome so we got uh we got virginia we got colorado we got ohio we got california so my goal for tuesday my beer goals uh, as you guys know, I'm drinking uh, 2,550 beers around the country. That's 50 beers in each state. Uh, I haven't gotten all the way through. I've, I'm almost through Colorado, though. I did a, a trade with the Colorado Beer Hunter. So I'm almost through Colorado, but I don't have as many beers in Virginia and um, Ohio, so I need to get that. But one of my goals for, for uh, National Beer Day on Tuesday is to try to get a, a toast from everybody in each state. Like I think that would be really cool, just like hang out, have everybody in the crowd. Posting pictures like cheers, hashtag beer the world together. If we get everybody from each state, and then a real big beer goal would be everybody from like not every country, but like like you know, say like twenty countries. I don't know. What do you what yeah. do you guys think is a good goal? Like how many countries could we get to like toast uh, on National Beer Day? What's a good uh, uh, just the national? How many? Would you think you think uh, you think like? Boom, we should set a goal like each state's doable or multiple countries. It's interesting if you look at uh, National Beer Day, different countries have their, of course, their own National Beer Day. Uh, Iceland is March 1st, Germany is April 23rd, Uh, in England it's June 16th, in South Africa it is the first Saturday in February. Uh, So, depending on which country you're in, you know, they have their own National Beer Day. Um, oh. But as far as a uh, time to get together and, and celebrate beer, I don't think anybody is going to begrudge anybody a reason to drink. So if we can, yeah. uh, if we can spread the word. I'm sure we can work on that. Yeah, yeah, we can do it again. You know what? National Beer Day. Let's just, let's just call it Tuesdays. Tuesday, <laughs> uh, we all get together. Good with me. I mean, I tell you, okay. National Beer Day is like Independence Day. It's one of those days that yeah. well, there's a very specific, important holiday that we or historical reason we celebrate on April 7th. It should be celebrated every day of the year. Exactly. There you go. Every day of the year is beer day from now on. Drinking at home on the computer day. We thought it was cool, you know, a year ago. We're like, hey, let's all get together, uh, uh, you know, social distance drinking. And now that's just called drinking, I think. So. <laughs> 
So what was that song? I can't remember who who, who did it. I drink alone. Who oh, is that's it? That's what I mean, right? I'm bad at music trivia. I need to eat better at that. Okay. No, I'm bad it's going to drive that. me nuts. Now I got to think about it. So. Does anybody know in the comments? Uh, in the comment, please let us know. I drink alone. Who sang that? If only we had a device where you could look things like that up. No, I won't. Uh, but... <laughs> I want to say it's George Thorogood, but I'm not sure. All right. That, that, that does sound like a George Thorogood song. Yep. For sure. Um, you, had, you had in the comments somebody uh, mentioned that uh, International Beer Day is the first Saturday in August. So that might oh, be okay. cool. a worldwide show. There you go. Yeah, well, that would be another one. First Saturday in August. You know, Intergalactic Beer Day. Let's do it. Let's cheers. Oh, Thank George you. Thorogood. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes. Uh, George, we were correct there. George Thorogood. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> cheers. Um, let's see. All right. Um, yeah, awesome. So what okay, so I have a question. What is the first brewery? If you local brewery, anything, once we're allowed back at breweries, what's the first brewery that you guys are gonna like? I gotta go. I'm running to this brewery. Like, is there like a new oh, so Luke, you're in you have like a bunch of new breweries probably to try that you haven't been to. You yeah, brewery, that's awesome. That's like fresh ground. I love that. You go to like a new area and it's like Oh man, there's plenty of new breweries to try. So that must be like, oh, they'd be horrible now though. We can't right, it's, it's horrible because it's like they're all there, but you can't go. I mean, I can still get some of the beer, but I can't go. And part of the experience is going and hanging out at the different breweries. So I mean, it's like they're right there, but they're not right there. So my answer is going to be just to explore because I don't, I don't know the favorite one, the best one around here as of yet, but I want to find out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have to talk to the Colorado Beer Hunter. He'll, he'll like which ones are the best. For sure. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jeff? Are there any breweries that you're just like, oh man, I got to get back to once? Uh... So uh, in Richmond, Virginia, we've got about 30 different local breweries here in the Richmond area. Um, That's amazing. One of my favorites has got to be Final Gravity. Uh, they just do spectacular beer. Another one is uh, Triple Crossing. I actually have my. Um, certification in professional uh, beer brewing, um, and I actually did my internship over at Triple Crossing, who did some of the, some of the most fantastic hazy IPAs uh, I mean I've ever had. And that's not just being biased; it really is that good. I think uh, in yeah. Richmond um, we had five or, or three of the top five beers. They did a nationwide uh, taste test, blind taste test for hazy IPAs, and three of the five original breweries. Um, I think uh, original gravity or final gravity was uh, number one. And then triple crossing came in second and fourth uh, with mosaic. Oh, Triangle wow. was one of their, one of the better beers, but those, those would be the two breweries that I went to. Absolutely. And then legend brewery is, is another great one. Uh, but I, I did it. Get, and, I get to Richmond do my, do my 50, uh, 50 Virginia beers. That sounds amazing. 30 very cool. Cool. Uh, one area and then uh, all of this amazing beer that's great that's great wow so we've got over 300 breweries now in virginia um but about 30 of those are in the richmond area um that's amazing that's awesome i'm spoiled. Um, yeah. i'm trying to think of uh yeah where i've been there's always like here in los angeles there's like i've been a ton of new breweries the past like three or four years actually i have like a list of them um i just went to a cool place for my birthday it was like uh it's called uh they had actually George Lopez, the comedian. He has like his own brewery now. Which is really oh, neat. <laughs> uh so that was that was actually actually the last brewery I've been to uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, which was great. Uh they have like a cool food hall there and everything. Um I'm trying to think of like the newest ones. Boomtown Brewery in downtown LA is like amazing. Uh they actually had a great event there for Father's Day last year, so I was super excited to uh to go there and uh oh mckeller mckeller it was actually in san diego they had a they had a tasting room in downtown la i think just closed but they maybe i'll do i'll have to do a trip to san diego once the breweries open up san diego has like amazing breweries uh do like mckeller brewing like exactly how you were describing like each beer is like a work of art like i highly recommend it if you guys can get some color brewing um, yeah, Jamie. What about you? What, what are like the new breweries, breweries you miss? Like what? Uh... Yeah, well, uh, well, I'm missing them all to be honest with you. And you know, we're one of the places where you know we can still walk in, or you actually can 
have them delivered. Now, I haven't gotten to that point because the stores are open and we I can get my my beer fix at the local uh, the local beer store. But a couple breweries I definitely want to visit. So Shale Brewing Company, uh, North Canton, Ohio, right around the corner from my house. Great oh, nice. stuff. I also want to check out Royal Docks Brewing Company. I mean, I always like them. They're, uh, at one point, I think they were the fifth fastest growing brewery in the United States. I think it was two or three years ago. So they've always got some good stuff going on. And then one of the ones that I have only been to their location once, their actual physical location once, but have had a ton of beers. And I don't know if you guys have heard of them, Poppin' Frog. Um, I know they go outside of Ohio, but uh, – Love their beers. I don't think there's a single beer I've had from them that I dislike. So I'm going to have to hit all three of those guys. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're going to have to do some swap. We're going to have to do some – you know what we'll do? We'll do like a beer swap with all all of us. And then we can each yep. like, you know, yeah. we're drinking Ohio beers. You guys can be drinking California beers. Colorado yep. will all sit up and then like actually give like a – I think that's the way to do it, right? Like we could all oh, yeah. taste – those outside the state beers. Um, they can't take that away from us. One of the post offices is still going. Yep. We're going <laughs> to let's see comments. Ah, cheers, Vicky. All right. Cheers. She says, uh, I admit, shame. I'm sitting here in Connecticut having a hard seltzer. <laughs> all right. Whatever. It's alcohol. It's apocalypse. You can drink whatever. Uh, all right. Cheers, cheers, Vicky in Connecticut. All right. Um, <laughs> so you guys have any beer, crack, whatever was here. That's the way to do it. We don't care. We don't, you know, we don't discriminate. We're not, uh, we're not beer shamers. We love the craft stuff, but whatever you got, a Budweiser, a hard mm-hmm. seltzer, this is drinking buddies. This isn't beer stories. So, cheers, I, I, cheers. I played semi professional uh, rugby for a while, and one of our big sponsors was uh, PBR. Uh, they'd give us about oh, there you go. a week to, uh, <laughs> to drink amongst ourselves and, and the other team. So. Um, if I'm drinking uh, not local craft, uh, PBR is is my uh, my beer choice. I don't hate on the uh, I don't hate on the the, the exactly. premium beverages, as it were. Exactly. Well, I, I think make- I could probably do you one better, actually. So I uh, I used to do a lot of sailboat racing, uh, uh, especially back during my college years. And there was this one guy that we sailed with, and we'd each bring beer, you know, to stock up the boat for the weekend. And he brought Blatt's beer. I mean, there's like plenty of other things you could bring, but he'd bring like this huge 24 pack on his shoulder, like a boom box. Of Would you Blatt's say beer. Blatt's? No, Blatt's, B L A T Z. I'd never heard of it before. Uh, okay. Blatt's beer. I, I'm surprised we can still see after drinking it. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and, and his ritual was is we'd be going out onto the race course in this big, you know, 36 foot boat, and he'd, uh, he'd have to have a beer. It'd be like <laughs> seven o'clock. And he had to have a blast beer to get the day going. So, oh man, yeah, that's awesome. That sounds fun to me. It's like a good excuse. You're out, like you know, hey, it's beer o'clock, like whatever. You know? Yeah, exactly. So all right, so from now on, we're gonna have six o'clock drinking buddies on the internet while we're up. You know, quarantine happening. Beer o'clock. Um, I love it. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I used to, I, you know what? After drinking a lot of poppy, like super, like this, you know, like the hazies, like drinking really strong and uh, complex uh, craft beer. I actually did learn, like this summer, I was drinking some Bud, and I was just like, you know, and, oh, it's some Labatt. In the Northeast, you get some uh, Labatt Blue. Uh, oh, man, that, that you just pound back, and you know, well, it's mm-hmm. refreshing. After. It's, it's lawnmower so, you know, beer. You're out mowing your lawn. You need a beer. Lawnmower exactly beer. right. <clears throat> we use the terminology lawnmower beers, too, here at Three Guys, Six Beers. So know exactly what you mean. I love that lawnmower beers. I love yep. that. That's great. You got yeah. lawnmower beers and you got shower beers. You know? Yes, Two shower beers. We have, yep. we have a brewery here oh, called Champion yeah. Brewery that actually makes a beer called shower beer. It's a oh shower really? Shower. It what did you say the name of it was? What was it the brewery? Uh, Champion. Champion. Okay. It's called shower beer. It, it is actually the perfect shower beer. It's it's very well done. That's cr- I love that shower beer. Yeah, I saw a beer it was called like camp beer. So like the idea was they made like a really like, almost like a session beer, like like a low ABV beer that they were like do like you could like pound back while you were camping and it wouldn't get you like too crazy and it wasn't like too hot beer. You know, like a straightforward lager. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So that would actually be a cool list to make of, like you know different beers, that, different craft beers. <clears throat> that emulate like you know big brand beers 
that makes sense. Like, you know, so like shower beer, beer. I bet you I bet you a whole like subgenre of craft beer. They're like, oh, you know, we're we're it's still craft beer. So for y'all you beer snobs out there, you can still say, Oh, look at me, I'm drinking this like small craft beer, but it's gonna taste like, you know, <laughs> like a shower beer. That's actually I, I like that a lot. Hey guys, I appreciate you having me on. I got a jet, but uh, I'll I'll be there yeah. for the duration on Tuesday. Looking forward to it. Cool. All right. Cheers, uh, cheers to Justin. Now, everybody, follow uh, National Yeah National Beer Day. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. I actually think I just saw we might have uh, joining us in a second. Brady. All right. All right. All right. Have a good one. I'll see you on Tuesday. You too. Cheers. Hey, great have a good one. All right, and now we're going to be joined by uh, Brady, the Chai Beer Guy in Chicago. Cheers to Brady. What's going on? Yeah, Brady. Brady. All right, so Brady, what do you, uh, welcome, buddy. Welcome to Drinking Buddies. Uh, thanks for joining us. You were just in time. We just said goodbye to Justin, the uh, godfather of National Beer Day. So how are you doing, buddy? What are you drinking tonight? I'm doing all right. I'm actually just about to grab uh, another beer out of the fridge. Um, Nice. <laughs> oh, he's got his whole beer fridge going. Yeah, man. So I'm drinking uh, Galaxy Hero from Revolution. Uh, Revolution's kind of a staple brewery here in Chicago. They've been around since, I want to say, 2009. Uh, so they were one of the early adopters of the craft beer scene here. But this is, uh, this is a nice Galaxy Hopped, uh, Double Dry Hopped IPA. Awesome. That sounds delicious. Well, I'll have to check that out. I did my Illinois beers. That's great. How you been? I was so cheers. Yeah, How yeah, are you? Yeah, are, you, are you able to get your, uh, or the brewery still? We were just talking about like you know, beer, uh, breweries that are delivering and, you know, how we're, how we're all getting our beer supplies. Are you still, are you still able to get those, those beers? Yeah. Um, so a lot of breweries are, you know, obviously struggling because of this, uh, mm -hmm this circumstance yeah. that they're in, but uh, a lot of them have adapted really quickly to the whole to-go option thing. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of them are doing deliveries and and, uh, and or curbside pickup. So that's been really helpful. Um, a lot of people out here in the beer community have been very supportive of uh, our local breweries in, in trying to ensure that they, you know, maintain their business. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That looks wow. That looks really hazy, delicious. There, with beer. I'm jealous. I'm almost out. I didn't. I didn't plan ahead. I didn't bring another beer with me. Um, yeah. So actually, uh, Brady was. Uh, for you guys who don't know, Brady and I, well, about a year ago, uh, were, were launching the world's largest virtual beer toast. And uh, I don't know if you saw Brady, but I've been telling everybody. And I find it's so funny that now social distance drink thing and we actually started that a year ago we were we were the only people when there wasn't a pandemic we said hey you would be a good idea let's all drink on our computers <laughs> <laughs> that's right so now it's a thing man it's just like you said it's a thing now so uh yeah so we toasted la and chicago and you know what it's great we've got um colorado we've got ohio we just have Virginia. so you know what we're gonna beer the world together on tuesday and uh i'm oh, excited yeah. to do it <laughs> awesome. Uh, so are you excited? So I was just asking these guys, are you excited to check out any uh, breweries once they open? Are there any new breweries that you haven't checked out? Or are there <coughs> any as soon as like this whole thing is over, we're all allowed to go back to the breweries. What's the number one brewery that you're excited to go uh, go drink at? Yeah, I'd say that the uh, there's a brewery called uh, I believe it's called One Allegiance. And it opened up in my old neighborhood. Uh, so I recently had moved a little bit closer to the city, uh, which, which was nice for me. But uh, uh, we opened up, there was a, a brewery opened up in my old neighborhood that's called One Allegiance. And I hear their beer is uh, pretty solid so far. But it's unfortunate that they had to open up during these, uh, these times. They just yeah. opened up, mm -hmm. I'd say, about uh, less than a month ago. Uh, oh. So Despite, oh, yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty tough. I think it was about two to three weeks ago. It was when everything was going down, but they decided to stick with the opening and just uh, run with the go options. So, uh, to do that, yeah, 
I think the more breweries that like, it, and I was also saying that like, you know, it's opening up this like whole idea of like beer delivery and beer to go. It really was in some, at least in some states wasn't like a thing before. So um, who knows in the end, at least for the, the beer industry it could, could be beneficiary. It'll be new, new options to, uh, to get those craft beers taken home. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well guys, uh, we're uh, thanks for coming in, Brady. We were, <laughs> but I'm forbid. But uh, I just want to say cheers, and we're gonna see you guys on um, Tuesday at six o'clock uh, West Coast time, nine o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock Central, seven o'clock Mountain. I think I got all the time zones in. Look it up. Check the local list. Uh, so I want to say cheers, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna hashtag beer the world together. Um, all right, this has been Drinking Buddies, and we're going to do it again soon. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Hey, thank you for having us. Cheers. Cheers. Peace. See you.